the teachers. Guess what? I know why you're here. You are here to fight for our students. You are here to fight for our schools. You are here to fight for our future. Thank you, thank you for being here and for the great work you do. There's another person here who supports you and she's here in her red. The First Lady of North Carolina, my wife, Christa. And you know what? I've been thinking about somebody else who would have been here today. My mom. She was a public school teacher from Nash County. And if she were still here on this earth, she's here in spirit, but if she were still here on this earth, she would have put her red dress on and she would have been standing right with you and fighting for her students. I know each of you wants to do the right thing by your kids or you would not have gone into teaching from the start place, to start with in the first place. And as parents and grandparents, we leave our kids in the hands of teachers like you for hours each school day. And for some working parents, that is more hours in the workday than we get to spend with our children ourselves. We expect you to educate them. We expect you to support them. We expect you to counsel them. We expect you to keep them safe. And you know why? Because we trust you as teachers. We trust you, teachers. And you know what? Now we need to put our money where our trust is. in the country in teacher pay is totally unacceptable. That is why my budget puts an extra $112 million to, do, to boost teacher pay. Average raise will be more than 8%. Every teacher, every teacher would get at least 5% and some teachers almost 15%. And when I say every teacher, I mean every teacher. <laughs> Including our veteran teachers. <laughs> the veteran teachers have been left out by this legislature. But we know we know veteran teachers are critical for the success of our school. But we have to be willing to prioritize it and we have to be willing to pay for it, not just talk about it. So how do we pay for it? We freeze the tax cut for corporations for people making more than $200,000 a year. It is tax fairness for teacher pay, plain and simple. Corporations and people making over $200,000 a year have had big cuts over the last few years from both the state of North Carolina and the federal government. They're scheduled to get yet another one next year, about, about $110 million worth. I say, let's use that $110 million to raise teacher pay instead. What about you? Do you think that? Now, I want you to 
go ask your legislators that question. Are you going to support even more tax cuts for corporations and the very wealthy? Or are you going to support much better teacher pay and investment in our public schools? That is what this boils down to. You should support the legislators or the candidates who are running against them who truly support public education and they're willing to vote that way. And you all know, we all know that this is far more than just about teacher pay. It's about respect. It's personal, folks. It's personal. It's about real investment in our schools. Because if I've learned anything from the hundreds of teachers I have met, it is this. Teachers don't teach for incomes. Teachers teach for outcomes. say that again. Teachers don't teach for incomes. Teachers teach for outcomes. Outcomes that include better educated and successful students. That's what we all want. Better pay for teachers and teacher assistants and school personnel. That is one way we can show respect for you. But we have to do more for our schools. We have to invest in textbooks. We have to invest in digital learning. We have to improve the physical condition of our schools. We have to hire more nurses. We have to hire more counselors. We have to hire more teacher assistants. We have to hire more school resource officers. To expand the teaching fellows program. And we need to give you help for school supplies because we know you're reaching into your own pocket and paying for it. And that's not right. My budget does all of that. This is how we help our students succeed. And that's why we're all here today. I've visited dozens of schools from the mountains to the coast since I became governor. And when I'm in those schools, there is a big smile on my face. I've seen many of you there. I love being in your classrooms and listening to your students. Your work is reflected in each and every one of those children. I can name many of my teachers. I can call them by name, Mr. Hill, Ms. Batchelor, Ms. Brantley, Ms. Colley, Ms. Taylor, Mr. Dunn, Mr. Dixon, Ms. Mosley. They each, each of them, each of them had a real effect on who I am as a purpose, as a person. You are having the same effect on your students. Every day. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for the work you do. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your decision to become a teacher. And thank you for that decision to stay a teacher. I am honored to stand with you, North Carolina teachers, stand with you each and every day May God bless you, your students, and the great state of North Carolina. Thank you very much.